Hey guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you uh, template literals or template strings in ES6. Alright, so this is a really easy thing to understand, uh, but it is really helpful as well, especially if you hate concatenating strings to variables to numbers and so forth. Um, so what we're going to do here is let's create a variable called template. And I'm going to set that to a string. And this is going to have some stuff. We'll do some HTML. Uh, let's say uh, hello. And then we'll do a paragraph. This is a simple template in JavaScript. Okay, and the paragraph there. All right. Now, usually if you have a template, you'd want to insert it in your browser somewhere in your page. So what I'm going to do is in my index file, I'm going to replace this with a div and let's give this an ID of template. OK, then back in our JavaScript, we're going to do document dot get element by ID and we're going to pass in template and then let's do dot inner HTML equals template. Whoop. Sorry about that equals template. All right, save it, reload and there's our template. OK, very simple. Now, usually it would be a lot longer than this. So you may want to have multiple lines. So what we could do is let's do that. Break this up a little bit. Now you can see that it's already broken. OK, if I save this and we reload, we get a nasty error. So normally what we would do is we would concatenate. We could end the string here, use a plus sign, go whoop, what's wrong with my mouse, go down here, put a quote here, and then that should work. OK, now if we don't want to have to do that, we can use backticks instead of quotes. All right, so let me get rid of this one. We're going to get rid of this. And then we're just going to have one back tick here, which is the key that's to the left of your one key. And then at the end. All right. And now you can see that we're on multiple lines without having to concatenate and everything works. All right. So I find that really nice. I mean, you may not appreciate it with this. Just a couple words here. But um, if this was a big template, this this works really nice. Now, what's even better is that you can use uh, vari uh, variables in here as well. OK, we can bind data. So let's say uh, we want a variable called name. And we'll set that to John. All right. Now, down in our template, what we can do is we can directly use this without concatenating, without any of that, using dollar sign and then some curly braces. And then in here, we'll say name. Save that, reload, we get hello John. We can also use functions. So for instance, let's take the dollar sign curly brace syntax and uh, let's see, we're going to call a function. We'll say make uppercase. All right, and then we'll just pass in hello. All right, and then what we'll do is create the function. That's going to take in a word and then we'll take or we'll uh, return word dot to uppercase. Save that, reload, and now hello is all uppercase. So we can use variables, we can use functions, we can use multiple lines uh, very easily. All right, so that's it. In the next video, I'm going to show you some of the new string methods methods that are available with ES6.